Um, do you guys recognize this bathroom? This is literally two um, hotel rooms down from the hotel room that I stayed in last time I was here with Revolve. But I'm back at the Andaz. We love to see it. Um, I'm here for the wellness weekend with Revolve, which is so exciting. So thank you guys so much for using my links. That means a lot because obviously it gets me opportunities like this. And honestly, it's like the most, it's, I've, I manifested this. It was on my vision board for 2022 and we're making it happen, guys. Now, if I can only get myself to Revolve Fest, then life will be complete. There's a bunch of girls that are I follow on Instagram here. My Instagram friend, Just Throw It On's here. My Instagram friend, Peyton Sartain, who was here last time, is here. Um, I'm just really excited, so gonna get into some fun stuff. Cody's my plus one for some of the events, but some of the events he can't come to. So currently just gonna get ready for the day and then I will show you guys everything for the first event. As you can see, I have successfully destroyed everything behind me. Like I said, we're at the same hotel. You can tell I'm like a, two doors down because of where this is. Is positioned let me show you guys my outfit real quick before we go get breakfast because it's real cute okay so we're a little backlit but that's okay so this is their new um, workout line that just released on revolve which is one of the things we're like promoting while we're here and it's actually really soft which is exciting I should have definitely gotten a small in the bottoms and just the medium on top but now you can learn from my mistake. And then I just threw a blazer on because we're going to breakfast. My dunks. Um, I'm not going to a workout class. It's like a meditation sound bath, which will be interesting. But first, breakfast. Um, and it's also St. Patrick's Day. So there's that. You guys will never guess where I took Cody. We're at Disneyland. <laughs> um, took him toast, obviously. Where else would I go? What are you going to get? I don't know, you told me to get something off the doggy menu, so that's kind of mean. But probably the croissant french toast. Which is what I told him to get, but whatever. Get a latte. Get a latte. Cody's out here being a dad and asking why they brought him mayonnaise for his french toast. <laughs> <laughs> it's orange zest, cream no, it's cheese. it's ranch. <laughs> they know I'm from the Midwest. Oh, God. Back from breakfast and I'm just about to call the Uber to head to the social club. I'm wearing their new line which is well-being I think is how the name is. Amazing quality, so soft, I'm obsessed. It makes the girls look good and it kind of gives you like a little bit of an under boob which is kind of hot. See y'all at the social club. Oh, that's <laughs> I, I feel like I see you all the time. I know I love it. Gifty sweet moments. Oh, 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 no, well, that first half. Cody's got a pair of pants he's trying to figure out. They kind of look, uh, those look pretty small. No. Yeah, those look pretty small. Yeah, they're gonna be a little tight in the waist. Yeah, a little, <laughs> you'd have your- My whole crotch hanging out. Yeah, that's not the vibe. Tough. I'll see Sharon, like... I should oh, my... get this for Alex and Caitlin. It's their song. Oh, yeah, that's, My blood shame. that's nice. Chris Young. Wow. Not very vintage, is it? Mm. Although I want a Justin Bieber. Mm. So we are now walking down Melrose, just enjoying the day before. We got to go back to the hotel room to get ready for dinner. We're going to some Italian restaurant with Kareem. Yay, he's excited to be here. And I'm excited to change out of black because it's so hot. Yeah, it's hard to miss. <laughs> so we just got back from the social club. I brought Cody with me to browse and I met up with my friend Jess. Jess Saron, she's a great human. Um, 
This is the most important part of the haul. These gummies are amazing and they're free in my lobby of my hotel goals. I picked up a Meow corset in the size small and it looks like this. It's super cute. This dress, which I think is really cute. And it's also from Meow. Meow's a big moment right now. So I was like, let's just run with that and see what we can do. So that's what I got. Super, super cute. Excited about it. Um, now I'm currently getting, oh, and I got my ears pierced. I don't think I talked about that. So that's exciting. Yeah, that looks good. Um, obsessed. I love it. Don't you like that? Quick outfit change and makeup change because I was looking rough. Let me show you real quick what we're working with. I've got these low rise girlfriend Bella jeans on with this leather top from NBD. Nip slip at any moment. And then I've got my dunks on in a green purse for St. Patrick's Day, of course. Cody? Do you want to do your fit? Oh, I couldn't hear you. I was in the bathroom. He's got his Harley tee. Did you wear this last time we were in LA? No. No. He's got his trousers. He's got his dunks on. That's his green. Yep. That's it. That's all I got. That's it. Okay. Like, I got ago, some pasta. <laughs> Cody's telling the story about his traumatizing Chinese. I was struggling to eat. Chelsea's like here. here. Yeah, Kareen's like, here. The icon. I, I keep talking about yeah. you in my vlog. Was, Wait, what's this place called? Like, uh, Dan Tanner. Love it. Why, that's why my nose is Morning. So I'm just gonna go pick up smoothies from Sun Life, which I've never actually tried. And here is my outfit. I'm wearing this onesie that I got from Revolve, obviously. It's just like a workout onesie with this workout top from the new brand that they released. Um, but yeah, that's just what I'm wearing. I'll update you when I get my smoothie. Okay, Cody's recording my outfit because I couldn't find anything to prop it up on. And I need to kind of hide the mess that I've exploded all over this hotel room. Anyway, of course I'm wearing my Meow corset. I'm still waiting on my Revolve package to show up. Basically UPS didn't pick up anything, so it's a day late. It's fine. And then I'm wearing these EB Denim cargo pants from Revolve and my Bottega handbag. Don't look too hard at the shoes. It's not really the vibe I was going for, but I'll make it work. It's fine. You owe it to yourself to not compare yourself to somebody that you see on a screen. Use it as motivation, use it as empowerment versus putting yourself down over it. You guys, I'm back with Lauren. Hello. And we're going to Earth. Jess is back here. Hi. And Kareem. Have not been here in forever. OG YouTubers get it. Okay, we came to Air One's my first experience. And I got a wrap with turkey and bacon. And then, I don't even know what this is. It's just a good keto brownie. I don't even know what keto means. And a giant water bottle. I actually don't either. Man, I'm having a day. So, I just got my hair done. And it's probably the best it's ever looked. I feel a lot better. The front desk gave me, like, a freaking heart attack earlier today. And I was, like, crying. <laughs> It's fine. The girl who did my hair at Main Addicts, I have her Instagram. It is Reagan Link Artistry. She's so talented. She gave me like a pro tip on how to get like the perfect sleek hairstyle. And I'll put the product on the screen because obviously I need to pass this information on to you guys. But I finally got my Revolve clothes halfway through the freaking event because UPS just decided to fuck everything up. But I'm going to show you guys everything I got. Please ignore the background. It's been a hectic last 48 hours. But anyway, let me show you. What a freaking day I've had. So first thing that I got for this trip, I ordered because I've wanted this dress from Super Down. I ordered it in a large because it says it runs really short. Um, it should like fit perfectly. I don't know. I might like go full Barbie tonight. We'll see. It depends on how like big I'm feeling. You know, girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. You know, the bloat of traveling when you haven't used the bathroom in a while. Right off the bat, 
I'm excited. It's so funny, my friend Jess, she saw this at the social club yesterday and was like, who would wear this? What does this cover? I'm like, it's a swimsuit like cover up. So it's supposed to look saucy with the matching suit. Visualize with me. Here is the swimsuit bottoms. They look absolutely tiny. That's a medium. And then this is the swimsuit top. I don't know. I was having a discussion with my friend Peyton and we were just talking about like late 20s basically and like where we're at and I was like, you know, I'm so comfortable with my body now and it's taken me so long to get here that I just like am not ready to have a kid because that just will mess it up, you know, and I don't know why I'm sharing this with you guys, but that being said, the confidence to pull off this with like a little under boob, you need it. So I got this swimsuit and I'm actually really excited about it. I haven't gone up to the pool yet, um, but if I ever do, at least I have a swimsuit. I forgot about this. This, you guys, I'm gonna put on the screen what this jumpsuit looks like because I don't think this is gonna, like showing it like this is gonna do it justice. It's hot. Here is like a little low rise Skirt, mini skirt, how cute is that? It's leather, it's from Lacademy, it's got a little belt. These are really nice. Like, sometimes the quality of like a trouser can be questionable, like it will come off like cheap, but these are really nice. They remind me of nonchalant, like their trousers. So this is really nice. The pleating is perfect, the color is perfect. I ordered this to wear with the top, or the bottoms that I'm wearing today. So that could be cute if I can't figure out something to wear. I got another skirt. Looks a little large, but I doubt it is. I got this cute little set. So comfortable. Oh my God, I like want to change into this immediately, if not sooner. Here's the top to go with it. I thought this would be cute to like sleep in. That, that outfit is under $100. And then the final thing is this jacket. That is good and that is my revolve haul now it's time to figure out what the frick i'm gonna wear and also redo my makeup because i look crusty anyway okay so here's an option for tonight it's this super down dress that is rather saucy but i'm like should i just serve like barbie for tonight you know Oh, I finally got ready. I feel so much better with a new face of makeup on because I was caked up. I forget how dry my skin gets here in LA. It's insane. It's so hard to like get good lighting here. So I have to stand in front of this ginormous window. And when this is closed, it is a cave. But I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So I'm wearing this top. It's kind of like raunchy gave you like a boob shot this is like under a hundred dollars i'm pretty sure from ours and then i'm wearing the same eb denim that i was wearing earlier because i wanted to wear them with heels and just some clear tony bianco or whatever bianco i don't know heels and then i'm gonna wear my furry bottega bag and then look at cody's outfit he got a new ring today your back lit your back lit up? fucking badass look at that Right. Great yeah. frog. Got my black overalls and my Comi Des Garçons Supreme. And his and my, dunks. My dunks. From Farfetch. And now you're backlit. But you got the beanie on and everything. Got my you got haircut. his haircut too. Got my bag. We're about to head out. So exciting. Oh, I. Can you not? So I posted this reel and it's doing really well, which is always really exciting. But look at how good this jumpsuit looks. It's the one I showed you guys earlier, and I was like, you guys just have to see it on. She's saucy. A little too, like, extra for an 818 event where I'm drinking a lot, but so good. So, did that, and now we're ready to go. We are en route to the 818 event. I'm ready to drink some tequila. We can finally try the reposado. Yum 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 yum. Oh yeah, night That is stunning. That looks like a French toast. We meet again in the hotel room. I am slowly dying. Like my stamina this weekend has gone. That's okay. It's the last full day here. 
Tomorrow we leave and it's the marathon, so that will be fun getting an Uber because apparently all of Sunset Boulevard's closed down, which is where we're staying. We're getting ready right now to go to breakfast with Kareen. I'm so excited. Toast place, but not toast, of course. Nothing will ever top toast, let's be real. Um, and I just need to get my shit together. Right now I'm wearing like that set that I wore in LA last week, but this is just for lounging around. I need to put like actual clothes on. You guys, we came to Bravo Toast for breakfast. So exciting. Who doesn't always want avocado toast? Because we can never find places in Nashville. So I'm thrilled as can be. Yum. I should vlog you. After brunch. I'm your Rodeo cherry. Oh, you, we are. Yeah. We're on Rodeo right now. and. It is. Jess said she wanted to spend money, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> they know more. Right, I am right, the girl to go with. And I asked Kareen where I should go, and she was like, not Bottega, but not that's me. That's our first stop. <laughs> not me going into Bottega. Yeah, it looks like we do have the. I literally saw him walking out the aisle. Oh my god. You literally have that sitting in the hotel room. You guys just bought a bag. The peer pressure of Bottega. There was no pressure. It was just the peer. <laughs> the peer. You are the peer. You are my peer. Oh, I love it. And now we're going to Prada, which I don't know. No, 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 we didn't do this in a crock and boss. This one only comes. Now I ordered Postmates because Kith was a fail. They only had Honey Nut Cheerios to like infuse into the ice cream. So this is what I got, Uba Tuba, and it's Cody's first Uba Tuba 2. Okay, final outfit check of the trip. I am exhausted. I'm starting to lose my voice. That's new. <clears throat> That's lovely. Um, I have full face makeup on, um, earrings. Oh, did I ever show you guys my new piercing? Focus. Right there. So cute. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I got that at the social club. I'm wearing, you guys might remember another underboob moment from Revolve. I got this, um, for last trip and it's by Meow which is fun. So I paired it with this really oversized blazer that I thrifted and then the big moment is for the jeans. The Mugler. We love a Mugler moment. So we're raunchy but it's fine. And then my silver Prada and my silver heels. As per usual, um, everything that I've worn on this trip will be linked in the description box so be sure you check that out because I wore some good outfits in my opinion. And now it's our final night in LA, which is kind of sad, but we'll hopefully be back in less than a month, which is exhausting, but also very, very fun. What a beautiful, beautiful, smoggy day to go shoot this outfit. And then we're gonna go to EP and LP for dinner with everyone. And by the way, my hair still intact from getting my hair done. Thank you. Hello everyone. Um, I am experiencing a travel hangover beyond repair right now. And the only thing that I, th okay, beyond repair to a degree. But I realized I did not end my vlog yesterday or my vlog for this weekend. So I'm gonna do that now. <sighs> Hopefully I have enough gas to, yeah, I'll be good. So I literally just threw on some clothes because I literally need this pub sub like desperately workout romper from the well-being line from revolve that i was you know promoting this weekend which is so cute i put a like thrift or this is a uh, academy blazer on top and a thrifted hat and some sneakers on and i feel like well i feel like shit but i look like i've got my life like semi together probably not because i haven't brushed my hair in a billion years, but yeah, 
Um, I cannot thank you guys enough for buying from my links. It really, really makes a difference and I am forever grateful. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for supporting me on my dream. Cause I don't know if you guys watched my, <clears throat> sorry, my new year's resolution, like my goals that I were trying to hit in 2022, but I really feel like I'm going to make a big one come true which is really exciting i've got that i'm rambling now let's just end this video actually i'm going to show my outfit and then we'll end this video